Okay, so here's an update to the Roblox Chroma mod. All right, so now instead of print logging, it uses uh, this color in the Chroma ring to convey the game state. And also there's this companion app that captures the screen and reads the color that's in this spot here. So first step, you run the Roblox companion app and then you select one of your mon monitors here and it'll go between the different monitors and you find whichever one is running Roblox here. So probably that one. And then if you just click on the picture box, you just move over until you find, oh, there it is, uh, the Chroma box. And you just want to put it in the center there. And now we're hooked up to connecting the game state to the Chroma companion app. That way it can run the different game states. And you'll see here, when I click uh, one of the effect buttons, there we go. So we see it knows I clicked on effect one because there's a color there that it's detecting. So we can click each of the buttons. And as I click each button, it's playing the effect. And these are a set of sample effects that you can connect to things. All these were made with the Web Chroma Editor, and that's a free tool. So developers can create any kind of effect you want to make. Okay, but you can see as I click, it's playing different effects. And then you can connect these to your game states. Okay, so in addition um, to using the red channel to control the state of the button effects, if I switch back to none, the green channel is also connected to the player state. So when it move around or jump, it's changing the green channel and you see it's capturing these states over here. So as I go around and climb on the ladder and while I'm on the ladder, the climbing state is true. And so it plays the climbing animation. When I jump, the jumping state goes to true. And so it plays the jumping animation. Go swimming here. You can see it's playing the water animation. So there's eight bits per channel. So with 24 bit color, you could have 24 different independent effects that you're switching between. Or you can use more than one bit, like how the buttons are connected here. Okay, so that's a quick overview, and thanks for watching.